What's your favorite tomato to grow in the garden? Do you like beef steaks? Do you have slicers? Do you like romas? Or do you have a favorite cherry tomato? In this video, I'm going to tell you about my favorite beef steaks. What exactly is a beef steak tomato? When you hear the word beef steak tomato, what do you think of? In 1969, a seed catalog described a new specialty tomato as being as solid and meaty as a beef steak. Well, the nice thing about beef steak tomatoes is they are solid, they are meaty, um, they don't have a lot of seeds. Yes, they do have seeds, but they're not, that's when you bite into a, a beef steak tomato or slice into it, that's not everything that you get. Hi, this is Gary with Successful Gardens, and today we're going to, I'm going to talk about six, well, five of my favorite beef steak tomatoes. And then a new one that I've I want to grow this year. All right, the first one is called Porterhouse Hybrid. Porterhouse Hybrid Tomato is an 80-day indeterminate. It was developed as exclusively sold through the Burpee Seed Catalog. Now you can also, if you if your local greenhouse um, sells Burpee plants, um, you might check with them because the you can also just buy. Um, plants, um, growing tomato plants at your at the local greenhouse. But the porterhouse um, is a is one of those super large tomatoes. Um, savory old fa fashioned flavor. Um, it is actually gets into one of the classifications of an extra large beefsteak tomato. The average weight of a porterhouse um, tomato is two to four pounds. Can you just imagine how big a two to four pound tomato is growing in your garden? The next large beefsteak tomato that I like to grow is the Orange Wellington. Here again, it's another Burpee exclusive. Um, Burpee has done incredible research um, and development on large tomatoes. And so out of the five tomatoes I mentioned today, Three of them are, are Burpee exclusive. And so, but the Orange Wellington is, is orange. Um, it's not streaked with any reds or greens. It is a true orange tomato. Now that might be not what you like in your garden. If you're a traditionalist and you want that, that red, solid red tomato, and you don't want to vary from that color content, um, that's okay. But the Orange Wellington um, is just a wonderful flavor, bursting with flavor um, of tomato. Um, it's a 75-day indeterminate um, tomato. Um, it's a shorter compared, comparatively speaking, of, of all the beef steaks. Um, but that the, the globe-shaped tomato, smooth, crack-resistant, uh, very plump and firm, um, it can... B, it usually grows just under a pound. Um, this is one of the smaller beef steaks that I grow, um, but it has a very meaty texture. It's it's solid. You're going to you're not going to be disappointed in when you grow the Orange Wellington. And the nice thing about the Orange Wellington, it's also very disease resistant. All right, the next um, super giant um, tomato that that I grow in my garden is called the Steakhouse Tomato. Steakhouse Hybrid is, here again, this is another um, tomato introduced by the Burpee Seed Company. It's a 75 to 80 day indeterminate type. What intrigued me about this one earlier is they always they say that it can, can tip the scales up to three pounds. And so there again, nice big chunk of tomato. And so that's that's what my goal is, is, is to grow that three pound uh, tomato. I haven't ever reached the three pound with the steakhouse, but one of these years I'm gonna get that. Um, it has, um, it's loaded with succulent rich um, tomato flavor. And this tomato actually smells like a tomato. Not all tomatoes smell. Do you ever catch yourself in the produce um, section at the grocery store, sniffing a tomato, you know, you pick it up and you touch it to make sure it's 
ripe and firm, but then do you smell it? Do you, do you smell it <clears throat> to, to think, to see if it's ripe? Well, the steakhouse, you, there's not a problem in knowing that it's a tomato because it even smells like a tomato. The next, um, the fourth tomato that I want to share with you that I grow is called the better boy. Um, this is a 72 to 75 um, indeterminate type tomato. Um, it's a standard. It's been around um, almost, I think it's over 50 years. Um, but the better boy is just one of those classic traditional large types of tomatoes. It only, it will top in about a pound, can grow up to a pound. Um, it's the nice, one of the nice things about the better boy is that it's adapted to all climates, whether it's a humid climate or a shorter day, like in the South during the summer months or, um, up North in the, the cooler night or evening, um, climates, um, better boy is very adaptive to all garden or all, um, most most all climates it's um, they're again very disease resistant so uh, that's one of the reasons why it became a standard in a lot of gardens all right the fifth beef steak tomato is called beef master um this is an 80 day indeterminate type so it's going to grow tall and um nice and when we'll need the support um this is one of the most popular you'll find beef master almost in any garden center um, or wherever you buy your tomato plants um, it is it is one of those standard um, beef steak type tomatoes that most gardeners will grow um, almost every garden center will grow grow them for you um, it has an improved disease re resistance um, allowing for better yields and larger fruits um, it's great. One of the other reasons why a lot of people like this is it's resisting, it's resistant to cracking and splitting. There again, excess water in hot summer days um, cause that growth and that, that splitting or that cracking of the skins. Um, and so on, depending on, on your area of whether or not it's, um, if the fruit is salvageable or, or not. But the Beef Master is, is solid, it's meaty, it's a bright red, uh, one of the brightest red tomatoes that there is. And the nice thing is it can grow up to be two pounds. Um, so that's, that's about um, a, high, um, a high weight for um, the Beef Master. So it's, it's, it's great. Those are our five tomatoes that I grow on a regular basis in my garden. Um, I don't grow them every year. Um, or I don't grow all, all five varieties every year. Um, I'll grow about two, two varieties um, on a regular basis and just kind of rotate them out. So every year it's something different. But there's a new, new to me, a new variety um, of beefsteak that I want to grow. Um, ananas nori. It is developed by a um, Belgian um, horticulturist and he introduced it in 2005. Um, it has pineapple heritage. And when I talk pineapple heritage, not the pineapples, the fruit pineapples that you get from Hawaii, but a pineapple series of tomatoes that um, are known in the European gardens. The Ananoris um, has heritage or lineage from the pineapple series. Um, it is a, a greenish tomato, so it's not red. When it when it finishes, when it's ready to pick, it it's greenish, um, and it has streaks of reds, purples, and yellows, kind of like a kaleidoscope of color, um, and not just on the skin, but on the inside. So the meat is is that way, um, but it's a a fruit tomato. It's a tomato that will grow about. Um, one and a half pounds. Most of your tomatoes on that plant are going to probably be probably about half that, about three quarters, maybe reaching up to a pound. Depends on if you do any thinning of your tomatoes and your tomato plants to make sure that you get the, the prime harvest of your tomatoes. Um, they describe it as lip smacking flavor and taste. Um, so I'm excited to, to grow this. Do you plant any of these tomatoes that I plant? What is your favorite type of beefsteak tomato? Um, 
leave leave your comments uh leave leave that variety um, down it's there are so many beef beefsteak type tomatoes um it's always fun to to talk tomatoes and see who grows um what and and if there's a reason why you like to grow a particular tomato if you found this video helpful hit that like button i appreciate that it tells me that you do find videos that i i make um, helpful and beneficial to you this is gary with successful gardens and remember let's get growing